Hey guys, welcome back to another Guild Wars 2 video. So today we'll be talking about how you can get your trinkets to be all ascended in one month. So this way, uh, it's probably one of the ways that are out there that can help you get your entire trinkets to be uh, fully ascended. And if there are other ways, you can tell me down below and see if it's better than my way. So let's do this, alright? So if I go to wiki and I search up how many laurels does a person get per month, they get 55 laurels per month logging in every day for 28 days and uh, 55, uh, 55 laurels can buy you a amulet okay so where is it where is it where is it so 55 laurels can already buy you an amulet it doesn't have to take 28 days you can get yourself an amulet remember you're gonna try to be a berserker like a full dps class because they only offer berserker in this pa uh, in this court area kind of a stats so where is it it's right, right here no not that one there it is so this one berserker you get this okay done amulet is done so you can also decrease the price of this by going to world versus world and they sell it for a little bit cheaper it's about 20 laurels instead of 30 but you have to fork out 250 badges of honor other than that you could just buy it here done okay next we're gonna do accessories remember so our accessories, we're going to do one accessories for this month because most likely you will not be able to complete all of the guild accommodations for uh, the entire months to get you uh, two accessories. So uh, best case, uh, worst case scenario, you can get one of these accessories in one month, 12 accommodations. Remember from my last video for the guild treks and all that, you get at, at least three per week, at most six. And if you have a guild doing all the missions, you can get at at most nine so with a party and uh so again the two weeks is good enough for you to get one of these accessories but i'm going to be more uh, conservative and say it's going to take you four weeks to get one of these accessories okay one accessory is done next so we're going to go to bitter frost frontier okay so we're in bitter frost frontier we're going to talk to this guy over here and he will sell you another accessories over here for 300 winter berries and uh, 4,000 Unbound Magic, and also you can get a back piece over here. So the back piece and the, the uh, Ascended Earrings accessories, you get it from this. So that's another two Ascended accessories or Ascended Trinkets down. So we got back piece, amulet, two accessories down, and now we just need the rings. The rings, I'm going to tell you after I show you how you're going to get your Winter Berries. So in order for you to gather Winter Berries, you're going to go all the way over here. And of course, my route is not the most optimal. Optimal. Uh, you could find the most optimal route by going to uh, online, and they'll tell you how to do it. But this is my route, and I'm going to show you how much winter berries I get per character. This is character bound, so you can go to another character and collect winter berries. So I'm going to do this very quickly. Okay, these are gonna be the last winter berries I will farm. And then I will switch characters and get another set of, let's see, 34. We got 34 fresh winter berries from that route I just took. There is probably a better way to do it. There's probably a better optimal way, but I never looked at it. I just did this on my, on my own and just found this route to be what I like to do. So uh, you can copy if you want, but you can also do Guild Wars 2 Taco. They also have a route for you as well. So if you get 34 winter berries per character, if you have five characters, which you will have five character slots parked, uh, you can park it here and you can get a total of five times 34, which is zero to 15, 170 winter berries per day. And then if you have 170 winter berries per day, if you go back to the merchant, the accessory costs 300 and the back piece costs 400. So as you can see, you can probably get those two within two weeks, conservatively speaking. And in for, for the Unbound Magic, as you see right here, what I'm doing, I'm gathering these ice bound chests. So as you can see on my gathering here, I already got a lot. See, every single chest will give me yeah between five to 10. 
So if you will look over here, I have 2100 Unbound Magic. Let's start counting. And uh, you want to do the events as well. They also give you enough. They also give you uh, Winter Berries, uh, not Winter Berries, but the Unbound Magic. So, okay. So you would get a lot of unidentified gear. So this is also a plus. So I would recommend you to do this with all your characters and you should be able to rack in a lot of Unbound Magics just by doing this. And you should be able to afford your back piece and accessories by going around opening these Ice Brute chests. Basically, you need to get a, a torch from wh whatever that is completed over here when they have an orange circle there. You could refresh your torch like this. Refresh it, you get all five stacks again. All right, we're finished with this event. We're gonna grab a torch. Once we got a torch, we get five charges. So you don't want to use any of the skills except for opening the chest. So you just press your F key and you open it. Just make sure you do not get, uh, you don't touch the tornado, the storm, because that will limit your ability to uh, basically, your, your torch will go away. So you don't want to touch the, the ice storm. But you do want to open all of the ice brew chests that you come. And another good thing about it is because if another person comes by, they open it for you. So you don't have to waste any of your charges if they already opened it for you. So all you have to do is just open the box and you're good. We just keep going. So the event back there, I just tagged it and just left because I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible, showing you guys some time. See, he wanted to touch me, but I didn't let him. So we're gonna keep going. We're, this is a this is one round trip and we'll see how much volatile magic I just gathered from all this. And this is only one character. You could do this on all of your characters that are on this map. Hopefully the rest of your characters are going to be level 80. Okay, that's a good run. We're done. How many? Okay. What? About 100 volatile magic. 2101, yeah. About 100 ish volatile magic as you can see it's not that lucrative but remember if you have excess of winter berries which you will within the month that you're trying to get your ascended gear because remember we said conservatively two weeks you'll get enough winter berries to purchase your back piece so if you double click the winter berry it'll also give you unbound magic see a lot of Unbound Magic. So if you're ever short on Unbound Magic, you just double click your Winter Berries and they'll give you your Unbound Magic that you need to purchase those Ascended Gear. So that is my way to purchase the Ascended Gear. Uh, if you guys have a better way to get Unbound Magic and purchase Ascended Gear on these season maps, then go for it, shoot it down below. But this is how I do it and how I done it quickly for my alternative accounts without wasting too much go. So now we got our back piece, we got our ascended accessories, we got our amulets, and uh, yeah, now we just need the rings, right? Okay. Okay, so if we're gonna get the ascended rings, we're gonna get it from the Fracto guy over here. So these, you're gonna need 10 pristine Fracto relic. Pristine Fracto relic comes from doing your uh, dailies. So what you would want to do, because you have zero agony resistance right now if you don't have any ascended gear, okay? So you're going to do this on your first day that you are watching this video. You're going to do your tier 1 fractals. And if you watch my videos on how to do those fractals, you should be able to do it with no problem at all. And uh, you should be able to rack up 5 per day, at least 5 per day, okay? And then, so that's going to take 2 days for you to get 1 ring, 4 days to get both of the rings. So why did I say five, at least five a day? Because look over here, we're going to see what kind of dailies that you can do on here that will allow you to get five pristine relics because the tier one fractals allow you to do five. One, two, three, four, and okay, only four right now. Okay, so four to five because yesterday was five, today is only four. So we could do four, but if we look at it, we click 15, right? There's no requirement for agony resistance. So we are able to get four. So let's say, hypothetically, a worst case scenario, you will need three days in order for you to get one ring. So six days to get two rings. So uh, in summary, you're going to get all of your trinkets within one month. So within one month, you're able to get your trinkets. Now for the rings, you can get three slots instead of one for, uh, in for the agony resistance. So how would you do that? There is a recipe that you could look up to get it. 
But uh, for very quickly to show you what kind of recipes you need, you need a Mystic Forge, you need the Agonized Essence, one Agony Infusion, and Philosopher's Stone, and your ring. This will give you an extra slot, so you will have two. Two slots for an Agony Infusion. So after you get that, then the third way, or the third one, is a little, it's a little bit hard to get the third slot, but uh, you should be able to get it if you've done enough fractals. So the third slot will require you to have, where's the guy that trades it? Oh, so for the Agony Essence, you get it from here. And then for the third slot, you need one, two, and three. So you need five here, three here, and one this. So it's going to cost you so some quite amount of fractal relics, but then remember, so let's say you done uh, you done your excess fractals in tier one for your pristine relics. You're gonna get around five per day. Let's say uh, let's say five per day, or let, okay, conservatively you get four four a day, four pristine relics, and uh, you're gonna have what around twenty five more days. So that's a hundred pristine relics within the month. Multiply by fifteen because if you look over at this guy over here. He's going to trade you 15 relics for whatever you have. So that's going to be 1,500 fractal relics. And that 1,500 is enough for you to buy off all of these. Because it's 750 to buy uh, 5 of this, 3 of this, and 1 of this. That's 750. So you 750 times 2 is 1,500. So you have exactly enough for you to upgrade both your rings to fully 3 slots of in infusion. Now... How do you get enough gold for you to craft your ascended uh, gear, like your your armor, right? So, well, that's gonna have to be in another video because you know, or, or I mean, you could also find it in other people's videos because people always tell you how to farm gold, right? Gold is the number one thing for you to start getting in order for you to uh, basically make your ascended armor because that's the only way that you can make your ascended armor within the month. And uh, you should be able to make your full ascended armor within the month or two, uh, depending on how much account bound and how much gold you make for the entire entirety of your gameplay. So, so within one month, your character should have all your trinkets all ascended, geared, and uh, you're gonna. Well, I mean, the ascended amulet isn't really necessary because it doesn't have an infusion slot, but you still want to have all ascended gear. So now you have all the trinkets all fully maxed out within that month and uh, now it's time for you to start doing recs uh, as in tier 3 to tier 1 recommended fractals because that will give you pages. Pages are these things, fractal research pages. What they can do is help you buy your fractal, uh, help you buy your ascended armor and uh, or you could craft it on your own. But I think buying them with your fractal research page should be your number one priority. I mean, these things are used for making legendary, but right now what you want to do is try to get to tier, tier four fractal as fast as possible. So what you will need, you still need to have a level 500 crafting for a discipline that is crafting your armor set. So if you're, you're an armor smith, you're going to, you know, get heavy armor. If you're a light, you're going to get the leather or if you're a medium, if you're going to get the leather work. So you're going to have to make sure you're crafting it for your 500 level craft, 500 craft for one of the armor set that you are wearing and then you're going to buy it all. So if you're going to be, since you already have all your trinkets maxed out and you're going to put plus 9 infusions in each trinket, you will have enough agony to do all of the wrecks that everyone does for your fractals. So you want to party with someone who already is in a high level and they can party with you and just do wrecks with you. Wrecks are so chill that you they don't even, they probably won't even, uh, you know, condemn you for not contributing for your part, but you're still going to contribute. Like you're going to be, you already know your rotation. You saw videos, you know how everything goes. So you're, you're on top of your game. So what you're going to do, you're going to get what three fractal research page per day. Within four days, you should be able to have enough fractal for one armor. So four days for one armor. In, so in one month, let's say we already did one month. It could be less than one month, but I'm being conservative. One month, you got all your ascended trinkets down, okay? Now you are ready to tackle on your Rex with your friend that is uh, in high level and you guys can go and do Rex together. And you will get three fractal research pages per day and that's four days you will get one armor. So we need six, right? So four times six is 24 days. So that's within two months. You will be able to have fully geared out ascended gear if you follow my plan perfectly. So yeah, 
if you guys have any criticism with what I am saying here or anything at all, just let me know down below. Again, this is not accounting for world versus world armor or PvP armor. I know they can be easier to get, but because for the sake of this video, people are mostly PvE, so don't say go PvP or go world versus world because those are easier to get. But uh, in, in this route right here, it's a lot easier to do it this route. And again, if you cannot do your fractal research pages, you can just craft the entire ascended armor straight up, but that's gonna cost you a little bit more gold. So it's up to you what's gonna go on. But uh, yeah, this is a simple, this is the most simplest way to getting your full ascended gear within two months. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video and hopefully I cleared up any confusions on my last video. So you will have 135 agony resist for your entire set, right? Remember, this pack, the pack piece is still slot one because you're gonna have to, you need 250 ectoplasm in order for you to upgrade the slot. But so, uh, now if you have 135 agony resist, so in order you get to 15 agony, you buy this. This is, if you read it, it says consume to grant 10 agony resist for one hour with fractal attunement mastery grants an additional five agony resistance. So you will be able to have 150 Agony Resistance without Ascended Weapons, all right? If you have Ascended Weapons, you can, you know, max out without using this thing. But once you once you hit 150, you are able to do T4s, and then T4s is going to drop you the Ascended Weapons that you probably need, or t uh, extra armors that you need, and then you are able to gear up your other alts if you need to. And that way you are able to not rely on this massively discounted uh, Anguish tier of Alba. And uh, you, you're, you're able to you know, do it on your own. So hopefully all of this summed up uh, nicely into one little video so for you to get it. Again, the gold farm is a separate video. If you, if you want to you know, know how to gold farm, uh, just you can also look it up to other YouTube videos. And I, did, I think I did some gold farming. Uh, like AFK farm is good for gold. You know, you, if, you ever watched, if you already watched all my videos, you know that you're you're rich right now because you AFK farm too so much that you could probably afford all of these things. So it's not going to cost you an arm or a leg because when you AFK farm, by the time I showed this, you should have enough money to get your crafting discipline to 500, craft those grand marksmanships, and you should be able to get your armor. All you have to do is just some fractals, your wrecks, and stuff like that. So hopefully everything is coming together. And uh, if you like the video, like the video. If you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the video. What are you doing? 90% of you guys out there watching this video that like the video that, you know, that's on the view count aren't even subscribed. Come on, what are you doing? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, see you guys in the next video. If I missed anything at all, if you have better suggestions, please leave a comment down below and I will respond to it. And uh, goodbye.